So a friend of mine got admission to study in the University of China. And he was in Chinese university, you must study two courses. So the guy selected to study one, Chinese language, and two, history. So he was admitted. And the guy become exposed to explore the history of life in existence. And do you know that after first year of studying that course, on account of the level that we're going to be promoted to the next level, the HOD, head of department responsible for that history course. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this guy has a very, very important message to pass um, across. Okay, please. I want you to watch till end. Okay, listen to him. There are one or two things that you must learn from uh, what he is saying. Okay, please don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to share and don't forget to follow us on this page, News Hunters, where we will always be bringing you news videos and stories to entertain educate and also inform you uh one of the reasons why i am bringing this video because i know some people might criticize him but if you listen attentively if you listen attentively i am sure that you are going to pick one or two points in what he is saying go ahead and watch the rest of the video thank you so a friend of mine got admission to study in the university of china and he was in chinese university you must study two courses so the guy selected to study one Chinese language and two history. So he was admitted and the guy become exposed to explore the history of life in existence. And do you know that after first year of studying that course, on account of the level that we're going to be promoted to the next level, the HOD, head of department responsible for that history course, came and said, where are you from? He said, I'm from Nigeria. I said, no, you can't continue this course. History is only for Chinese. And immediately there were 26 in the class. The guy's name was removed and they became 25 in that course that were promoted to the next level. So the guy have to go and take or choose another course to continue to make sure that he's studying two courses in the university. Do you see how a nation is preserving the integrity of their history from a nation? Because the wise men knew that whoever that can explore the history of a nation must know the weakness or the bad thing or the wickedness that the white men have done to a black man in the past life of existence. But this same China continues to write in detailed analysis the history of a nation they are called Israel and forward it to you at the end of every month in the name of Bible. And you are reading this thing thinking that there are true life stories that are handed over you to help you to grow. Do you know that the white men, have you not asked yourself why Bible was the only book the white man handed over to their slave in the 400 years of their slavery? When the white man was enslaving Africans, they have a book they call physics, they have a book they call chemistry, they have a book they call biology. Why is Bible the only book handed over to the black nation under this slavery time? Have you not realized that they handed over this book called Bible because the white men find out that a time is going to come when colonization is going to end. They knew that a time is going to come where slavery is going to come to an end because everything that has a beginning in life must have an end. So they found it necessary that we must introduce a system that will make the black man not to retaliate and to continue being under enslavement after being released or free from colonization. So this is the whole concept why the white man is enslaving the, the, our ancestors with chains and gain, raping them. They equally introduce another book that will continue to enslave and stood over them even while we are away from them. And so they introduced to them a book called Bible. And the first doctrine the Bible begins to teach them is forgiveness. They taught them forgiveness because they don't want them to retaliate against them when the black man becomes finally free. Because they are certain that a day is going to come when a black man is going to be free in life. So they begin to teach forgiveness. Now in this Bible they are teaching you forgiveness. It's a man called their own God. This God created a man in this Bible and the man called Adam sinned against this man. And this man, the God could not forgive that man. That man was sent off from the Garden of Eden. That same Bible has a man called Moses. This Moses sinned against God. His own God could not forgive him. The God automatically sent him off and killed him. This same Bible has a, has a man who is called Satan, who defied or sinned against him in heaven. The God could not forgive him. The God sent him down to earth. Even when the whole world was sinned, the God could not forgive the whole world. The God had to use flood to destroy the whole world. This is the God that is teaching you about forgiveness in the Bible. The Europeans wanted to teach you forgiveness so that the black man cannot come to retaliate against the things that they have done to us. So that's the first 
existence. That's the first purpose why Bible was handed to a black man to melt his anger, to put him. In fact, joke the whole world. Christianity is the only religion that preaches forgiveness. And you need to wait for a man to do something 70 times 70 before you think about retaliation. So the, the white man actually played their card right. That is why in our secondary school, history has been eradicated. Why? Because there is no way you will teach history in the secondary school without teaching our people the, 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 the mystery of slavery. And if people learn slavery in its explicit way or manner, the anger of a black man will be built in such a high way against the white that the white will become your greatest enemy. So they tried as much as possible to kill history in our, in our, in our secondary school life. So what a, 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 a Nigerian knew is that Jesus came to save him. In what way did Jesus come to save you? This is the question I'm asking you now. Do you not know that this is a name the white man captured or carved out to, to enslave your mind? Why is Jesus a name that the white man carved out? If you go to the Hebrew language till today, there is no letter J in the Hebrew language. So a nation that does not have letter J is having a name called Jesus. How possible is that? It's just like in Igbo land. Uh, somebody answering Chencho. There is no R in Igbo land, in the Igbo alphabet, so it's impossible for somebody to answer Chencho. That's the same thing that they are trying to tell that a name some, somewhere existed that is answering Jesus. Or whether the name was translated on anything, it is to tell you that this is a fabricated story. So the first thing the Europeans did is that they instigated estrangement in a family. The highest instrument is that they won our women. Because our men are too rigid to conform or to be broken to a new idea of life. So they, they, they captured our women and begin to introduce our women into their church system. So if you come to any church now, women are the pillar of the church. Or women are the bedrock upon which the church horizon is resting upon. Because our women was captured. You know, when you win a man or when you convince a man, you convince one person. But when you convince the, or we win a woman, you convince the whole family. So our, once our women's heart has been captured into believing that the only religion is the right thing, they begin to preach it to their children. The women begin to mentor their children to like their religion. And the children become enemies with their fathers who are in the opposite religion. Some of these children begin to burn their father's shrine. You see, the first thing the white man religion did to Africa is that they created automatic enmity in our families. That's why they thought that Jesus Christ came to create enemies between two families or three, three or more families. So a black man did not see the requisite need to come to a point that this religion is slowly built on deception to enslave and to capture our mind. Praise, praise pause. The whole essence of religion or how religion is originated or orchestrated always starts at a point where man begins to ask himself how am I created? Man trying to answer questions beyond his mental cap uh, capacity. How do I come into existence? So, but if you watch the real life or nature of existence, you understand that man towards his mind, through his mind, creates